Hello, hi guys, it's Enam here with a action mount for your smartphone. This is called Velocity Clip. As ever, links will be down in the description box below if you're after one. And let's see what we actually get out of the box. It's not too expensive at all. And it's a good way to mount your smartphone on either your bike, yourself, your car, that kind of stuff. So you get some instructions quickly here on how you can mount it. And I'll show you why I purchased this particular one. If I can get out the parts. So this is essentially the packaging laid out on what you get when you purchase a velocity clip. And I gotta say, this doesn't feel cheap. There's very thick plastics here and it does feel very, very well made. And I like the attention to detail. You've got the color coded red bits that you actually need to turn. You've got some rubber padding here along the inside, which won't mark your device. Always important when you're squeezing it within a clamp. I wouldn't say squeezing it, holding it within a clamp. And this slides out completely. So I'll just show you how that works in a second. And I just want to show you the attention to detail here with this thumb screw. You don't have to worry about trying to slip it in your hands. They've got this notched in. I do like that attention to detail. Kind of GoPro-esque is everything else, but I like this attention to detail. Red bits that you need to turn, color coded. And this little bit here ties in to the velocity clip itself. So as you can see, there are notched sections here. So you just angle the clip however you want it to stand or hold your device like so and then you bring in the thumb screw along the other side and tighten it up now this can take devices that are very large indeed so i'll just show you you can take that completely out and by the way the back of this thing has metal so as you screw this in you can i don't know if the camera will pick up on it there's just a a screw that turns inside there so this is a galaxy s6 edge here and if i bring that in slide in the top there we go whoops there we go and hold that in place as tight as you can you're not doing any damage to your device because of this rubber padding and turn the thumb screw until you're happy with how tight it is and there you go that's not going absolutely anywhere. Now, I prefer these to suction pads because I don't trust suction pads. What if it loots, loots, loses suction when you've got it on a bike or a dash and you have an accident and you go flying? Uh, I don't trust suction pads at all. So I prefer clamped action mounts like this one. So as you can see, this is the Note 5, a very large device indeed so got it in place tighten up the thumb screw here no slippage and yeah that's not going anywhere you can see the big rubber pads at the top and bottom here holding the device steady indeed and this base that we talked about as you can see whoops i should have Let's change the angle at which that's sitting to make it a little bit easier. There we go. And turn that around. Hopefully it won't topple over. There we go. So yeah, that's how your device can be mounted on this thing. And as I say, if you've got these pads on your dash to make it easier, or even on your helmet, you just push in the device whoops is that the right way around no push in the device like so and if you want to release it you just push in these clips along the back and it slides back out again as i say gopro-esque along the top here you've got a pinhole for a tripod mount so you can keep your device perfectly still and stable via a tripod if you prefer so this is completely universal and do let me know in the comment section if you've used other mounts and how they compare. As I say, I haven't had good experiences with suction mounts, but do let me know your thoughts below. As ever, any other comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up down below. 
and do check me out on social media at inamk4. Thanks for watching, have a wicked day, and I'll see you next time.